Sometimes I wonder what goes on in the heads of the people in charge because some ideas I see are just so strange, especially when it comes to food. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. I'm your host Emily and today we're counting down our list of the top 10 discontinued fast food that came from a parallel universe. So be prepared to be disgusted or absolutely hungry. Coming in at number 10 is Burger King's The Windows 7 Whopper. Yeah, Windows 7 Whopper. When Microsoft launched an operating system in 2009, it collaborated with Burger Kings in Japan to sell special Whoppers with seven patties. Now the promotion only lasted one week in October, but its legacy has endured ever since. Just looking at the Windows 7 Whopper burger, its flaws are apparent. The two average size buns were not meant to contain seven whole patties between them, in addition to any cheese, veggies, and condiments the customer desired. Desired. There are a few hilarious reviews of the sandwich worth reading, and almost all of them share a few central themes. The Windows 7 Whopper burger was almost impossible to hold together. It was also almost impossible to bite into evenly. The combined juices from the seven patties inevitably soaked the buns until they were a soggy mess. Now probably the worst of all is that by default, the burger comes with no cheese and only enough veggies for the top patty. As a reviewer eloquently so put it, how does it taste? How do you think it tastes? It's seven pieces of Burger King meat. This is meat followed by meat washed down by meat. Now this burger literally looks like something out of a cartoon and not real life. Number 9. McDonald's Hula Burger Okay, so some backstory. Many Christians give up meat in observance of Lent, but McDonald's still wanted them as customers. A franchise owner created the filet o fish which the founder of the company, Ray Kroc, thought was stupid. You're always coming up here with a bunch of crap, Ray reportedly tells the franchise owner who proposed the idea for the filet fish I don't want my stores stunk up with the smell of fish. Now Ray then had another idea for attracting Catholic customers during Lent, the Hula Burger. This Hawaiian inspired sandwich consisted of a grilled pineapple slice, cheese, and a bun. How appetizing. Now on Good Friday in 1962, Ray agreed to release the filet fish in conjunction with his Hula Burger in select restaurants. Whichever sandwich was the most popular would win a spot on McDonald's permanent menu. On that day, 350 filet o fish sandwiches were sold, and the number of hula burgers sold, eh, about six. In Ray's biography, Grinding It Out, The Making of McDonald's, he mentioned one customer who said, I like the hula, but where's the burger? Now, as we know, the filet o fish was a massive hit, and they ended up putting it on the menu permanently, and the hula burger is nowhere to be found, and all I can say is thank you. God. Why would he ever think that burger would be a good idea? Aloha! Number 8. Burger King's Bacon Sunday. Everyone loved everything bacon in the early 2000s, and Burger King decided to capitalize off that in a strange way. In the summer of 2012, Burger King introduced a special edition bacon sundae. After being tested out in Nashville, Tennessee, the sundae was met with mixed reviews and a fierce debate when it was made available nationwide. Fans called it crunchy and smoky and appreciated its generosity on the bacon. The sundae was topped with real bacon crumbles and finished off with an entire strip or two of bacon. Now while it did have some fans with so much distaste for the sundae, it turned out to be limited edition and never made it past the summer. Now Burger King does still offer sundaes with caramel and chocolate fudge, so you could technically DIY your own by ordering a sundae with a couple sides of bacon and crumbling them in there yourself, but personally, I wouldn't recommend it. Number 7. Tim Hortons Buffalo Latte Throughout the 2010s, beloved Canadian coffee and donut chain Tim Hortons had its sights set on an expansion in the US. Now listen, I love Tim's, it's truly a national treasure, but this was questionable. Thankfully the US welcomed Tim's with open arms, and today there are over 500 locations across the US, but in October 2017, Tim Hortons made an extremely questionable choice. To celebrate openings across Buffalo, New York, the birthplace of buffalo sauce, the company introduced an absolutely repulsive buffalo flavor. Latte. Yes, you heard that right. It was a buffalo 
latte. Now this was just a horrible idea as they could have incorporated buffalo sauce in so many of their other items. Like they could have honored buffalo with buffalo flavored sausage, egg and cheese biscuit, but nope. Now there was a theory that Tim Hortons never intended to sell a single cup of the buffalo latte, but was instead engaging in a publicity stunt, but I'm not too sure. If you are an American and have this drink, please let me know every single detail about it in the comments below. Number 6. McDonald's Pumpkin Spice Fries Ok so pumpkin spice is all the talk in September and October. Personally, I don't get the hype, but people love it. People love it so much, McDonald's wanted to get their hand in the pumpkin spice madness, but this was in the strangest way. In Japan in the year 2016, McDonald's concocted Halloween Choco Potato, a tray of fries drizzled with chocolate and pumpkin sauces. The Halloween Choco Potato fries were released in October and were meant to honor the spooky season, both in taste and appearance. Now, surprisingly, the majority of reviews have been positive, as customers love the salt salty sweet combo enough that the treat reappeared for multiple Halloweens. Personally, this just seems so strange to me and I don't think I would ever try these. Number 5. KFC Donut Fried Chicken Sandwich Now this looks like some kid dreamt it up and made it into a reality. Introduced in 2019, KFC's Donut Fried Chicken Sandwich promoted diabetes as it was a chicken sandwich where the buns were glazed donuts. Sounds so healthy. Now the Donut Fried Chicken Sandwich packed a whopping 1,100 calories more than half the recommended daily allowance. A heart stopping 585 of those calories are from fat, over 1,300 milligrams of sodium, 50 milligrams of cholesterol, and a stunning 40 grams of sugar, more than an adult male's entire recommended daily intake. Safe to say it was a good idea that they took this off the menu, as I'm sure it could have resulted in many deaths. I just don't understand why someone would think this would be a good idea. Do donuts and fried chicken even go together? I'm flabbergasted by this. Number 4. Dairy Queen's Mystery Misty The Dairy Queen Mystery Misty was a color changing slushy that hit big in 2004. The colorless blue raspberry flavored drink came with a special straw filled with a mysterious powder. Pulling the straws tab released the powder so it could be stirred into the drink, magically turning it blue, red, green or yellow. So you're just telling me people willingly bought a drink that contained a mysterious powder to make it look pretty and had no problem with it? Like what even was the powder? That doesn't seem safe at all. Now, even with this trick, the Misty slushy drinks were well past their 90s heyday and didn't last long. When 2017 rolled around, DQ boarded the 90s resurgence bandwagon and brought back the Misty slush in several fruity flavors, but without the mystery flavors, which is probably the best call. Number 3. Burger King Kuro Black Ninja Burger In the early 2010s, Burger King Japan based this burger on an anime character. The Kuro Ninja features a black bun, which gets its color from bamboo charcoal the regular beef patty, a hash brown, and a special sauce. Oh, and it also had a giant piece of bacon sticking out of it looking like a tongue. Now this was a callback to the ninja tradition of taunting their enemies with a devastating nanny nanny boo boo chant and sticking out their tongue. I get the bacon sticking out because it was supposed to look like the character, but it's just unnerving. I mean, do you see the photo of that? It makes me extremely un. Comfortable. It is said though that it came with cute little ninja stickers when you bought a value meal, so I guess that makes up for its unnerving design. But wow, truly wow. Number 2. Taco Bell's Waffle Taco Taco Bell, a self-proclaimed outside the bun kind of company, wasn't about to let McDonald's steal all the breakfast glory with its Egg McMuffin. Joining in on what some dubbed the fast food breakfast wars, Taco Bell rolled out its first ever breakfast menu in 2014. Along with standards like breakfast burritos, the Taco Bell morning menu included something called the Waffle Taco. As its name suggests, the Waffle Taco consisted of a taco shaped waffle packed with breakfast taco fillings eggs and served with syrup on the side. Although fellow breakfast items like the AM Crunch Wrap, now called the Breakfast Crunch Wrap, were a hit for Taco Bell, the Waffle Taco was a miss. Soon after its debut, Taco Bell Chief Marketing Officer Chris Brannett hinted that some items might run out of gas. Sure enough, the Waffle Taco was taken off the menu in 2015 and replaced with the Biscuit Taco. Now The Biscuit Taco followed the same basic formula, with a biscuit in the place of the waffle shell, and surprise, it's also 
no longer on the menu. I think fast food places should just stay away from the breakfast menu entirely. Well, except Wendy's because I mean their French toast sticks are delicious. And coming in at number one is Burger King Halloween Whopper. In 2015, Food Beast reported on how Japanese diners had the opportunity to enjoy black buns at Burger King for years, and it was finally America's turn. The limited time Halloween offering featured a flame grilled beef patty with American cheese and topped with lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, onions, mayonnaise, and A1 thick and hearty sauce. While people flocked to try this burger, they were unhappy with the results. One Twitter user sums up what happened when you ate a Halloween Whopper. I heard this makes your poop bright green. Yep, the side effect was so common, the hashtag, hashtag green poop started trending on Twitter. Tasted good, but my poop is green days later, another Halloween Whopper taster said. More like Halloween disaster, 72 hours later and still not out of my system, and it tasted horrible on top of all of that, an angry eater also tweeted. Others claimed it made their bathroom experience blue, not green, but either way, folks who tried the Burger King Halloween Whopper were not too pleased that the chain had not informed them of the potential effects of the food dye used in the bun preparation. But let's be real, did you really think they were going to dye it in a healthy way? I mean, I'm just gonna say it, let's stop doing weird things to burgers. They could have done so many different Halloween themed foods, but they chose to mess with the burger. Well, that's all for our list of the top 10 discontinued fast food that came from a parallel universe. What I've learned from today is that Burger King needs to fire their creative team and stick to selling things from their normal menu. Now, did you get a chance to eat any of these discontinued items? Let us know about your experience with them in the comments down below. And while you're down there, why not give us a like and subscribe? I'm your host, Emily, and we'll see you next time. Peace. It's structural, 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 structural. It's structural falls. Oh my goodness. It's structural. Structure. Struct. <laughs> Number nine. McDonald's. Whoa. I like the hula, but where's the bugger? Whoa. Peace. Woohoo.